this Slippy Limpets video. Today is something slightly different. I'm targeting sea trout. Never done this before. I've caught three in my life as a bycatch, four fishing for bass basically. Um, but we're on the Isle of Uist. Uh, I've been here for five days. We've been burning the calories trying to find sort of remote pollock marks and things and I thought well what else is there to do as well because we've caught lots of pollock. So I thought let's give sea trout a try. Bought a permit for a tenner. Gives you a lot of uh, water to fish. And we're starting off at this great looking pool here. Lewis is there already casting as usual. And uh, we've got the little dog who's uh, a good fish spotter. So I've got a 10 gram Toby tied on with a shrimp teaser. And we're just going to cruise these pools as the tide comes in. Got to be quite careful because um, it's a big tide and there's quicksand around here. So i um, going to kind of follow a, a route and then aye, hopefully get in amongst the, the sea trout. Fish! <laughs> Second cast! Oh, there's loads of weed out there. <laughs> Took the Toby. I love it. Why have we been fishing for Pollock? <laughs> oh yeah, too right. <laughs> no. I feel like I need to go lighter drag. I'll turn it and bring it round now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Get in. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yes. Here, do you want to swap over and can you take the camera and I'll... Uh... Get the hands. Oh. Oh, oh easy, tiger. Yeah, first sea trout, second cast. <laughs> Get in. Come on, fella. Oh. 
about that. No, no, we weren't expecting that so quick. I thought we'd probably do a hundred casts before we even get a sniff. Um, no, <laughs> no, it's not definitely not. Not that I know, but I've heard that it's uh, fish of a thousand casts to coin a phrase from America. But uh, yeah, get in. Lewis's turn, and then uh, I right, let's get some more. God, this rod's good with 10 grams yeah. at its minimum weight. Yeah. 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 Oops, sorry, duck. Oh, no. I'm using a uh, 10 to 40 gram, 9 foot 6 century graphics, and I'm chucking 10 grams around. And I thought it would really struggle with the uh, with its minimum weight, but it's pinging them out. Especially with a uh, 12 pound braid and I think it's a 9 pound leader fluorocarbon we've got. That's on a Daiwa 2.5000 size uh, BG mag sealed. I heard you drag clicking and looked around and your rod was bent. I was like, get in, he's on. <laughs> yep. So this whole area is just massive sand flats dotted with islands and sandbars. The tide's going out at the minute. And over that way is the Atlantic where you can see the clouds. It's probably closer than the uh, the Minch, which is on the other side of the island, but all the water is draining out towards the other side, which I thought the tide was coming in, but it looks a bit because it looks a bit weird coming from the left where the Atlantic is, but it's not it's still going out for another couple of hours. Rough up. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have one final cast at the end of this, because I screwed that cast up. <laughs> I think it's a bit of structure, it's the same place every time. Alright, let's, let's move. Well, this is the first time I've seen other anglers in five days. <laughs> kind of fishing the pool that we wanted to go to, but we'll have a little quick chuck in this one. Because it looks good and then bypass those guys, move on to the next. One thing you is it's not short of, for sure, is lugworm. There's stretches where you, all you can see is cast far as you can see from the sand. I'm sure you could dig like 300 worm in about 10 minutes. All the seagulls harassing an eagle there. White-tailed eagle. Well, I didn't have my camera on, but that guy's a local and a well, lovely fella. Gives loads of information without even asking for it. It's not normally our style, but one thing around here is you can easily get trapped and back flooded. So he gave us loads of info about how to get off, what to look for and where to go, which is really, really handy when there's quicksand around and a uh, fast incoming tide. It'd be awesome if I had my fly rod. Just from Princess Leia out here, she's obviously into a bit of trout fishing. 
to some sort of US urban legend. <laughs> so after that last pool we fished, uh, having a quick chuck or flick on the way past, walked 20 minutes further towards the Atlantic and it is <laughs> pretty spectacular. Got the mountains over there, big skies and a big pool to, uh, to fish in. The tide started pushing now. You can see that there's bits of sand being picked up in the water and that's a good indication that the tide's rising. Um, but we do have an escape route towards that house over there. We don't know whereabouts that'll take us onto land but we'll be on land and then we can make our way back to the car if need be but wow. Scotland. Oh, that looks like a really good spot in the lee of a rock and some structure. Weed on one side, tide coming in. I'm on the quicksand because all the bubbles are coming out. <laughs> oh, absolutely honks. There's a load of bubbles coming out of the water after I've stood on it. Yeah, I thought I got a hit. <laughs> Nothing in the lee side, so I'm going to try the current side. Maybe the more like brown trout and stick out the front of boulders and head into the current than a lee. There's also the point on the map where they start marking quicksand. There's Easy to see why with all this rotten seaweed. God, it hunks. Lewis has just had a fish following his fly. Excellent, they're here. It's a much bigger bit of water than we've fished at the start. So we can knock your confidence a wee bit. If he's had a follow, then excellent. Well, the tide's risen quite a bit now. Um, I've been chucking the green Toby and also the little five gram uh, Tetra, but nothing, not a sniff. So I think what I'm gonna do is head down and find narrows rather than big patches of water like this. I mean it looks brilliant and it's nice and deep but with the incoming tide fish hopefully will be coming in through the narrows and then uh, that should hopefully lead to a little bit more success. So Lewis is all the way down there and I'm gonna cross that quicksand and uh, go and get him and then keep casting. Loving it. It's a great type of fishing in a pretty nice area as well. Ooh, it is sweating. <clears throat> Just walk, walk back to the pool where we saw the two guys fishing. Uh, we're getting cut off here and all the way through here the tide's actually ab absolutely flying through so we're just gonna have a couple of quick chucks and then wade over and fish the pool that we started in god that current is flying yeah i'm getting annihilated with weed Yeah! 
Go on. Is that right when we get across here? Yeah, that's too deep. <laughs> We're getting trapped, but Lewis still kind of stop, stop casting. <laughs> Just makes us walk further. It's <laughs> going on both sides, yeah, look at this. And a wee bit spicy, it's been cut off. Yeah, yeah, it's tides come in all the way around the other side. Totally backfilled. Get me waders up. As long as there's no quicksand. It's nice and cool though. I'm not fine. <laughs> no, I'm alright. <laughs> <laughs> You're alright, little dog, you could swim. Oh, a turbot? <laughs> no way. <laughs> See? This place is like a total labyrinth of uh, gullies and channels and backwaters. My well, car's only there where those containers are. But uh, yeah, it's backfilling absolutely everywhere. I mean, that was ni almost nipple deep. Lewis missed a fish before and I think, uh, well, he, it spat the hooks unfortunately, but I think if, uh, if he'd hooked it, we would have been there maybe five or ten minutes longer. I don't know, probably would have been slightly higher than Little Deep. Motoring in. Saw a little uh, mini turbo as well. It was ironic because we fished for them last night and didn't catch any. And we'll come here for sea trout and see them. Well, unfortunately, that's the end of the trip. That uh, afternoon sea, or evening sea trout, it's quarter past seven now. Evening sea trout session was our last um, throw the lure or attempt to catch a fish. Um, unfortunately, Lewis didn't end up hooking into one. Uh, the fish he did, uh, sorry, the fish that took his lure, just spat the hook straight away, jumped and there was no chance of him taking that so uh, yeah unfortunate for him but a good little adventure wading around between islands and things um, and learning quite a lot really fishing light and shallow water um, for a fish that doesn't show itself unlike bass um, yeah and as always tight lines and see you on the next video thank you See you again. I'm still winding in my lures on the beach. <laughs> I like shallow water. <laughs>